James is going to speak to us next, and I'll ask you to hold that mic up a little closer. Okay. Linda mentioned um, the, uh, born, the digital textbook, the biology textbook. Have you heard about that? It's something new. It's brand new. It's a new concept, uh, a textbook that's not just a reproduction of a print textbook, which most textbooks are, right? Almost all of them. Yeah, so it's a brand new thing. So think about it. Can you take advantage when you design it uh, of all the media and make it interactive? So it's a whole new way of you know, reconceptualizing textbooks, which is pretty exciting. And plus, uh, she mentioned that CSU, Chico's been involved with that. And there are also two other CSU campuses, um, LA and Northridge, are, were part of that project. Uh, of this biology textbook, um, and it's with Nature Publishing Group, so it's a very respectable publisher, and it's called Principles of Biology, and it's exciting because it's so much cheaper than most, the, you know, alternative textbooks. Forty-nine dollars they purchase, students purchase it, and then they get lifetime access. Can you imagine that? I mean, that's you know, it's a whole new deal. I haven't heard of anybody else doing that. It's, it's completely different, and and it's I've seen it. Um, uh, it's beautiful, you know, the, the interactive uh, features it has and diagrams and things. In fact, I can show you how you can, you can learn more about it, too. Um, if you go to the library homepage, this is also one way you can find out some resources, too, that you might be interested in. Um, you go on this link here for faculty, and there's a link here for affordable learning and open educational resources. Let me open this up. And then on this page, it's got a link to the Chancellor's Affordable Learning Solutions website. And they've got, on their home page, you can go there if you're interested in learning more about it. So. Um, Are they developing more than just for biology? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard. Um, so, also, I want to go back. I just want to show you something. We, um, if you go to this page for faculty, there are also some other things here. Um, well, there's, there's uh, if you want to learn more copyright, which can, we have, there's a copyright web page, which can be an issue too if you, you want to adopt alternative materials. And I can help you with that too. I'm the copy resource person. Um, and there's also, this page here for online curriculum support. And I, know I want to point this out because it has a link here on how you can give you instructions on how you can link to library materials, journal articles, how to find stable URLs for articles, and ebooks and chapters of ebooks. You can take those links and put them in your course or wherever you want to put them. So, and your subject librarian can help you with that, or I'd be glad to help you with, it, with that too. It's pretty simple once you know how. So. The main thing is keep in mind you want to have the proxy address in front of any link you use. It'll be Mantis, so it authenticates your students or you when you're off campus. So, and make sure that has. And most of the databases provide that now. If you find an article, you can look for that stable link, and it'll have Mantis in front of it. You know that's one that'll work. That's really handy. Same thing goes for ebooks too, right, Mark? Mantis will be in front. So, 